Make sure y'all come in, hit that like button. The cash app is in the description. Let's get right to it. Now, if you are not a part of a gang while being incarcerated, this video should let you know um, about the dangers. There was a time where I was locked up where I seen a man get his eyeball ripped out. How do you get his eyeball ripped out? Do y'all know them plastic spoons or the plastic forks? Um, for you jail guys, y'all know what I'm talking about. I don't want to say a spork, but uh, I really, I'm just going to say it's a plastic spoon. Well, two things. Now, when I first went to Jackson Pike, um, which is the workhouse in Columbus, Ohio. Um, I had a mat right here. I had my cup and I had, um, my spoon, my plastic spoon. Now, once you, okay, so when you go through the day room, because when you first come in, you got to go through the day room. And then when you get past the day room, it opens up. And that's where all the bunk bags is at. And all the way to the back, you got the one toilet. And to the right of the one toilet, you got the one stand-up shower. All right? But before all that, you got all these bunk beds. Now, I'm not going to lie. When I first came through there... Wait, wait. Before I even say this, you don't got no assigned racks. You, ain't, you do not got no assigned bunk bed. In fact... A lot of these tanks, especially the felony tanks, you have to fight to get on to get you a bunk. Okay, so keep that in mind. So here I go. I got all my stuff right here, and I got my plastic spoon. I'm looking at these cats, and I said, you know what? I'm I'm not dying in here. I'm not dying in here. That's the only thing that was on my mind was I'm not dying in here. And I'm going to tell you about some military mind games that was employed. Um, just like we got 21 people in the building and only eight likes. But that's cool. What, that's cool. We, we, we know how the military mind games is played. But here I go, walk in. I turn my spoon. Um, okay, so you this is the part what you eat with. I turn it the other way. I'm holding a handle, right? So as I'm holding the handle, I'm like, if anybody run up on me, anybody trying to come with some funny business, this handle is going to somebody's eye. That's, that's it. At that time, y'all, I was about 5'10", maybe 160. Maybe about 160. Um, I said I wasn't having it. I, I just was not having it. I heard a lot of things about um, the workouts. I heard it was gladiator school. I heard that um, you just got to fight day in, day out. You just got to fight for everything. You got to fight to sleep. You got to fight to eat. You got to fight to do a lot. What's up, Mickey Scorpio? You got to fight. <laughs> so keep that in mind. So as I'm walking through here, dudes looking at me. I'm looking at dudes. I'm looking... I see a lot of guys holding down two bunks where they sleeping at the bottom and got their stuff at the top. So I'm like, all right, I see how this is. So I'm just peeping out the scene. And my initial reaction was to just pop off on somebody. But the um, the rational side of me said, hold on. You know, this ain't your city. You don't know what's going on up in here. You don't know who is who and who belong to what organization, right? So I said, you know what? Let me double back. So I went back and I went to the day room and I stood by, um, what was it? Okay, so they had one table, two table, and a back wall right here. So I stayed again. I put, I went to the left corner of the whole room in the day room so I could see the whole scene, right? So I'm just watching, just peeping the scene, seeing who is who, what is what. I said, okay, all right. Okay, so I'm looking to see, like, is there any weaklings in here? Is there anybody in here that I might can push up on and get their bed, 
Okay, now, let me tell y'all something. While locked up, it's only wolves and prey. Okay, for somebody out there that might say, oh, Dante, why you going to try to go after the weakest person? Well, don't lions, when they see a herd of animals, uh, they see a herd of deer or zebras, when, when the zebra's running, they don't go after, after the most powerful zebra. Right, they don't go after the most. Fat. They go after the weak one, the, the the ones that's lacking, the ones that's behind. So that's what I had to do. And remember, y'all, I was what about? Um, uh, how old was I? Like 22, 23? I wasn't no, I wasn't no big dude, man. I wasn't no convict, man. I knew enough from being in the streets that, yo, it, it is what it is. But don't worry, y'all. We gonna get to. When my man got his eyeball plucked out. Um, so anyway, I'm just sitting back and I'm just like, okay, which one of these cats I'm going to have to push up on because I need me a bed. So I'm just peeping the scene and I say, okay, over there, it's a, it's, I, I think, what was they called? Um, hey, is anybody in here from Columbus, Ohio? I think it's called Ghostface. Um, a white gang called Ghostface, a joke. I don't know. It was something, but it was about ten of them racked up over there to like the left side where the bathroom was at the left side of the toilet. Excuse me. So I see them over there. I see a couple of big black dudes that look like they play for Ohio State linemen. Um, and I just see some guys in between, and I'm like, ah, let me see. Nah, I ain't finna run up on them cats. Nah. So, yeah, I was picking and choosing. So, I seen somebody. The first, so I seen somebody. It was a dude about my age. He looked like he was about 26 or 27, black dude. He had a little size on him, but compared to all these other guys, because I was, I, I'm going to be real, I was going to push up on a couple of white guys, but... I seen the white guys was clicked up. And so how that was, if you mess with one, you mess with them all. So I just had to seek out who I might can, you know, push up on. And it was a black dude, a little bit older than me. So I went over there. He had his stuff at the top. And he was led at the bottom, at the bottom drawing. So I pushed up on him. I said, hey, let me get that top rack. Now, when I did this, everybody was watching. I mean, the whole pod just got silent and was watching. And he was like, you want the top rack, bro? I said, yeah, let me get that top rack. So he just looked me up and down. He was like, nah, bro, you, nah, I got my stuff up there. I said, you got your stuff up there. I need that top rack. And he was like, nah, man, just, nah, just move around. I was like, move around? He was like, yeah, just move around. I said, all right, all right. So I went back to the day room. Now keep in mind, y'all, all my stuff, my um, what is that called? Um, my thin blanket, this little cot that they give you to sleep on, and my cup, my plastic cup, and I had my property, but that wasn't nothing. That was nothing but um, you know what? Come to think about it. If any, I know people in Columbus, Ohio. Let me talk to y'all because it's been so long. They don't give you hygiene and stuff. I don't remember them giving me no care package. I don't remember them giving me like no toothpaste or toothbrush or no cleaning stuff. I remember, I'm trying to, I'm thinking about that now. And I'm sorry, y'all. I'm going to get to the story. But. They didn't even, they gave us like four toilet tissue rolls like every other day or something. They was real tight about that too. I just thought about that. They didn't even give me no, they just gave, I remember they gave me a, a cup, a mat, a real thin blanket thing. And I don't remember them giving us a, um, yeah, no soap, no nothing. Huh. So anyway, I go back over there, and I'm like, you know what? Yeah, I'm about to do do greedy. So it was a white cat that was sitting right next to me in the day room. I'm like, hey, what time is dinner? 
And he was like, oh, uh, we about to have it in a minute. Matter of fact, they, they coming down with the trays right now. So I said, all right. So I was just lingering over there. Um, okay, so let me show y'all, um, paint something else for y'all. So over here to the left is the benches. And then right directly across is the door. And then move over a little bit to the right. You got the phones on the wall. And then move over more to the right towards the entrance of the between the day room and where the bunks at, there's an enclosed TV desk behind plexiglass. Um, so when the trustee come through with the um, COs, you have to line up like by the phones to the door on the right side. So I already moved over there with the uh, white guy. So he telling me like, yeah, man, um, somebody going to try you over here. All you got to do is just fight, man. That's, that's how you respect. And I said, I mean, I, I do that on a daily anyway. I, I don't need to hear about that. He was like, watch out for these um, black dudes. Um, he was pointing them out. He wasn't like, yeah, watch out for them. No, he was just like, look over there. Um, they're part of this game. They be jumping people for their food. Um, you remember I told y'all about that, um, about the one story where the Muslim guy was praying and every time he closed his eyes and bowed his head, these black dudes would beat him up and take his food. Y'all remember that? This was the pod I was telling y'all about. Um, yeah, I, yeah. I, me even thinking about this story, y'all. I don't even. I, I don't even really feel like talking about this because I, I'm, I'm just now thinking about something that just really got me upset about that Muslim cat, man. Because it's like. When you, when, when you praying over your food, because, you know, you don't know what's in that jail food at all. But when you praying over your food, that's supposed to be an intimate um, thing between you and God. And it's like, for somebody to disrespect that intimacy between you and God, of you praying for your food, praying over your food. Now, I can't say that. I can't say that. I'm just going to say the light version. Dip cats that have got kicked in their mouth. And I'm just going to leave out all the gruesomeness that I want to say behind that. But anyway, um, so here they come, bang on the door. Boom, boom, boom. Everybody jumping up, running to the door, falling in line. So I end up getting up there and I end up getting my tray. And I instantly dip back off in the corner. Now I see uh, the economy politics Everybody uh, giving things out, past things around, people owing debts, people collecting on debts, people trading the trades, all that type of stuff, right? So, I'm over there. What's up, Tommy Thunder? So, I'm over there, and I'm just peeping out to see some more. And I'm like, you know what? Nah, I, I'm not sleeping out here. I'm, I'm not sleeping out here. So, I hurry up and gobble up my food, and I see um, the black gang. It's about four up, four dudes. And they kept running down on these a couple of guys up in there. Going over there, taking their food and all that, right? And dudes ain't doing nothing um, about it. So I said, you know what? Now, back then, y'all, I, I wasn't a hothead, but I was more prone to violence. You know what I'm saying? Um, for some reason, in my head, I'm like, I wish one of these N-words would. I want one of these N-words to come over here and try to take my trade. I'm going to bust one of these N-words right in the face and split dates down the middle. Right? I'm going to put something on one of these N-words up in here. Right? Because this is what I'm thinking. Right? Um, one guy did come over there and approach me. He like, hey, uh, where you from? You from Columbus? was like, no, I'm from Michigan. Oh, oh, you from Michigan? Yeah. Oh, can you go eat that? No, I ain't going to eat it. Can I get that? No, you can't get that. So you got to, even though I'm not going to eat it, and it was goulash, even though I wasn't going to eat it, I was not just going to give it to you. Because I already see how, listen, even though that was my second time being locked up, but being in a different county jail, because all, most of my time was in Flint and, and Genesee County and Oakland County when I was um, going back back to back to the county. Um, 
But when I was in Columbus, Ohio, and I ended, <laughs> I ended up in the county, I pretty much knew how to, you know, conduct myself. So when he came over there, um, he was, you know, he got the asking for my goulash or stuff. I'm like, nah, nah. And I was like, well, I'll tell you what, though. Um, let me get your dinner roll, and you can get it. And he was like, oh, okay. See, now he know that, you know, you know, Dante know how to move around up in here. So now, I'm like, uh, he come over there, he give me the dinner roll, right? Well, he didn't give it to me. I grabbed it off his plate, and I scraped my goulash on his, on his plate. And there it go. So now, we, um, what is that? I know y'all keep seeing me look off camera, but there's something over there, man. I don't know, y'all. I just, well, as y'all see, we in another studio. But I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I think this studio haunted, man. I'm for real. I was just in here last night setting up. And, um, I don't know, man. Some weird stuff been going on up in here. That's why if y'all keep seeing me look off over there, you know, I don't know. What is that? Oh. Okay, whatever. Anyway, so, um, hey, let me ask y'all a question right quick. Do y'all believe in the supernatural? Let me know in the comment section. Type yes if y'all believe in the supernatural. Type no if you don't believe in the supernatural. Because I'm telling y'all, it, it, it just got to be, I don't know, man. Because where I'm at right now, I'm in an enclosed room, right? There's no windows. The vent is over here to the left over here. Um, matter of fact, I'll show y'all. The vent is over here to the left, right? The vent is over there to the left. So I know ain't nothing um, going on over there as far as that go. But I don't know, man. I, I just see something keep moving over there and everything is just solid over there. So I don't know. But anyway, um... Oh, okay. So after I get dude the goulash, and he give me the dinner roll, he goes off and he over there with his crew, and I see his crew over there eating, and they looking at me. And all I'm saying is, y'all just don't know. Y'all just don't know. Right? Yo, Sean Williams, uh, um, I appreciate that. DJ Fifth Flight, what's up? We finna get to the point, we finna get to the part where um, this game member got his eye plucked out. And we just talking about when, on my first day um, in his felony tank and what I had to go through that day. So I'm just giving y'all a walkthrough of what happened. So, you know, I'm looking at these guys. They looking at me. They looking down. They eating, looking at me and all that, right? Um, hold up, hold up. Yo, Richard Bennett. I'm sorry, y'all, that I'm getting off the topic, but uh, Richard Bennett, I like to break down things like this. Richard Bennett said, your ancestors are watching you. If my ancestors are watching me, hey, I'm for real, y'all, something is weird is really going on up in here. <laughs> like, for real. Yo, Richard Bennett. If my ancestors is actually watching over me, then um, they need to write down on a piece of paper the mega millions, right? They need to um, go into the computer system and pay a couple of my bills, right? They need to, um, even though I don't believe in that ancestor stuff at all, but... Um, yeah, that, that's what I be wondering. You know, these ancestors must ain't got no weight, ain't got no power at all. If they can't even help a brother pay the mortgage, right? I don't need no ancestors looking up after me at all. Uh-uh. No. I don't, and, and check this out. This on a funny tip. If there's any ancestors living in my, in my house, they must be, they, they gotta be the N-words. They got to be ends, right? I ain't going to say the word because YouTube be trying to play. But the ancestors, no. 
No, I don't. I don't believe in that ancestor stuff because I guess like it, like ancestors, they 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 just a bunch of n words. Cause you mean to tell me they up in my house, in my studio, and they can't chip in on the bills, just like that, that's our family do you too, huh? So my ancestors are here playing with the electricity, put, ain't putting nothing on the consumer powers, huh? The Con Ed at all, right? They ain't put nothing in on the water bill, but they want to come and do a haunt on me? I don't think so. Uh, yeah, so if I do got any ancestors out there, y'all need to stop playing military mind games and move around some digits in my bank account. But um, let's get back to it. Oh, before we even get to that, y'all, check this out. Um, uh, I'm going to be dropping... Some very interesting content here in the near future. I'm going to be doing um, like a supernatural podcast, okay? I'm going to be um, taking y'all. I'm going to Flint, to Flint, Michigan for about a month. And I'm going to do some documentaries. I'm like going to haunted places in Flint, Michigan. Flint, Michigan has a has a history of um, paranormal and um, ghostly apparitions and weird things that's going on there. And I'm going to Flint, Michigan for about a month in August, um, real soon. And um, I'm gonna be doing a lot of film in there. Okay. No, I was in um, Ohio. In um <clears throat> in 08. No, I was locked up in 08. I thought you talked 2000. No, I was locked up in 08. No, but I heard about it. But yeah, I'm finna be doing a lot of paranormal, like on my channel, y'all. Y'all know how I got the hood stories, the prison stories, the yard, um, and the reaction videos. Well, I'm actually gonna start doing like a paranormal channel also. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm do like a paranormal um section um on my channel too. Flossy Cardi, thank you for that. He said push that blade. That's right, and the blade will be pushed. Oh y'all, hey, do me a favor too, y'all. For everybody that's listening, when y'all watch my videos, I really would appreciate it if y'all would write something in the comment section, okay? Just don't watch the video. Just do that for me, okay? Uh, write something in the comment section for me. And make sure y'all hit that like button too, man. That goes a long way, man. Because um, I, 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 I need to know that y'all being engaged with the videos. But listen, um, I just got to be broad with it, okay? The prison stories, they cool, okay? This is what a lot of people come to to listen to the prison stories but i got hood stories for y'all i got um um the prison stories the skits that i'll be doing i'm about to start doing some more reaction videos and then i'm about to flood my channel with these paranormal videos okay where i go out like i said i'm going to flint michigan um actually next week and i'm staying up there for a month and I finna just, it's finna get real crazy, man. It's finna get real crazy. So, um, I'm telling y'all, um, when y'all start seeing different content uploaded, don't be afraid, don't be alarmed, okay? Y'all are still get some prison stories, but right now we finna go a little different direction because this is the Dante Show Network, if y'all didn't know that by now. You know, you get the prison stories, you get the hood stories, you about to get the paranormal stories, y'all. Y'all get the skits, you know. Um, I'm gonna start doing something with the Bible study thing. Yeah, Shy, um, where is, are you on Facebook? I'm on Facebook too, but YouTube is where I really be at. I don't really be on um, other social media platforms. Why? Because they ain't paying right, man. YouTube is the only platform that's paying right. The rest of them, nah. So only go where the money is at. Right now, YouTube is where it's at. So uh, 
Um, just let y'all know we got some content that's coming. Um, another thing, I'm thinking about uh, Mickey Scorpio. You know that Bible page that I made? Um, I'm thinking about deleting that and just putting that a part of this channel. You know, just like I'm about to put the Supernatural uh, playlist out, I'm about to put, I should do a Bible playlist. And for the people that follow me, y'all know how I break down the scriptures. And a lot of people be asking me uh, to talk more about the Bible and stuff. So I'm just going to create a playlist and do a whole bunch of videos about that and just upload it there. But um, in the meantime and in between time, yeah, I was just testing it out. I just put a, um, what is that called? Uh, a YouTube short on there. And by the way, y'all, when y'all hear that voice, like, uh, on my documentaries, that is actually me. I got this AI, um, this AI, this AI, um, app that I use to convert my voice over to sound like anything. It's called Eleven's Lab, Eleven's Lab. Where you can type in your story and it'll generate a voice, a clone your voice and make your voice sound like somebody else. So when y'all start hearing these documentaries that I put out, it's actually me talking, but uh, my voice is converted over sounding. Oh, it's not a free app. It costs like um, $5 for $5 for 50,000 words. Yeah, uh, them, hey, Mickey Scorpio, I, I got a lot of them stories coming uh, and the skits that go with them. But yeah, um, when y'all, anything, let me let, let me let y'all know something too. So we can get this cleared up right now. Anything that I put on my channel is all original content. Even the documentaries, that's me doing that. When y'all hear, um, the, like the ghost stories, <clears throat> That's Dante actually typing them stories up and putting it, putting it into this AI machine that convert my voice over to tell that story. Okay, so everything that's put on the Dante Show Network is a hundred percent me. Okay, even the post is on the community post. That's me um, taking time out and making these posters out. Okay, so. I'm just letting y'all know that right now. Everything and anything that y'all see from the thumbnails to the documentaries, um, the paranormal stories, everything that y'all see on that, everything is 100% me. And I give everybody permission. I'm going to give y'all some game right quick. If y'all want to get on on YouTube and get paid, I give you 100% permission to do reaction videos to my videos. Just, just put hashtag the Dante Show Network in your description. It don't matter. Where you, I don't care. You can download my whole page. I give everybody permission to do that. You can do reaction videos, all that. It do not matter, okay? Just put my hashtag in your description, in the title, somewhere, okay? Because when y'all do that, Y'all helping me also to get me out there. So I'm just letting y'all know it do not matter to me. You can redo my whole page. Do it. Okay? I'm letting y'all know that right now. Put, I'll put, yeah, yeah DJ Fifth Light. Hey, like I said, I'm, I'm letting y'all know. If you want to make some quick money or you want to get established on YouTube, I'm telling y'all right now, Dante is giving you 100% permission to react to my videos. Um, whatever you want to do with it. Just don't try to make me look crazy. Don't Y'all know what I mean uh, when I say that. Don't try to put me in a crazy light, all right? Y'all know what I'm talking about, but... Uh, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, y'all can remake it and all that. But, yeah, just give me that hashtag. Um, 
let's get to this how dude got his eye popped out. Okay, so you get it where after I get done eating. Now, when they get the now when the tray when you get done, y'all supposed to stack the trays up. So boom, 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 boom. So I'm sitting there and I know now enough. Like, okay. All right. I'm looking at the cats, the black dudes, but then I see the the, the white guys. Remember I told you about the 10 white guys? The, I think there was like, I think that was called Ghost Face Killers or Ghost Face Jokers, something. It was a white gang in Columbus. I cannot think of their name. But I noticed they was punking the black dudes, the four black dudes. So I'm looking and I'm like, now I, I'm not a racist or nothing like that. But every jail and every prison I've been at, um, white guys was at the bottom of the barrel. Um, and when I say that, you rarely ever, not rarely, you never seen a white guy press a black guy. It, it just wasn't happening. But I seen this happening. And I'm like, oh, so these dudes really ain't that, right? And these the cats that punched on the Muslim and took his food that I also seen this too. But when I seen the white guys over there pressing them, oppressing them, I'm like, oh, man, they got this. This going to be easy, right? Y'all say, what you mean by that? Have y'all ever met somebody and because they were from somewhere else, like, man, I'm from Detroit. I'm from Detroit. Man, these N-words out here ain't trying to see me. These N-words ain't trying to see me. I'm from Detroit. It's like when people say they from Detroit or they from Flint, you just got this extra, you know, this extraness about you that makes you think that you can just whoop anybody. Matter of fact, I'm going to give y'all a quick story about that. So my cousin, my cousin, me and my cousin, uh, we we ride down Cleveland now. Cleveland and uh, Morris, we we was on Morris Road and we made it right on Cleveland Nav, meaning we going down, we, go, we going down into the hood, right? So we get by the shopping center. And it's this guy that, that break checked me. So I'm like, man, what's up with this dude? And he did it again. He did it again. So then uh, I hurry up and whipped in front of him and slammed on the brakes. And me and my cousin got off the car. So dude was like, he got off the car too. Now his girl was there with him too. But she like, God, get back in the car, baby. Get back in the car. He like, he like, man, man, hey, man, I'm from Brooklyn. I'm from Brooklyn. He ain't had no New York accent at all. Dude, you've been in Columbus for 20 years. Now, I want to hear that Brooklyn stuff, man. So, <laughs> he, he like, I'm from Brooklyn. I'm from Brooklyn. So, like, that poster scared me. I, I don't know. Maybe that was a scare tactic or whatever. Like, okay, you in Columbus now. So, what, what do that Brooklyn mean to me? <laughs> right? So me and dude arguing back and forth, and he keep hollering all this BX and all this, all this Brooklyn and BX and all. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I got a lot of stupid stories. But uh, he all like, yeah, Brooklyn, baby, BX, BX. And yeah, yeah, we got all this and that. So I don't really like doing, I can only handle so much disrespect. I only can handle so much talking, man. This is why I tell y'all, hey, hold on, y'all. Need, hey, hold on, y'all. We got, uh, hold on. So, I, I only can, I only can deal with too much arguing, too much back and forth. So, I'm like, hey, man, you doing too much talking, man. Is we gonna do something or what? He like, man, this Brooklyn, this Brooklyn, BX, BX. I'm from, Br I said, B boom, right? Slumped him. I hit this man so hard, man. Dude fell. Oh, what does that say? Dude fell. Hey, Marie Foster. It's all good. Dude slid up on the car. His girl got up. Don't hit him no more. I wasn't going to beat him. He was already asleep. He was snoring on the car. But I say this to say that, man. All that, um, there's gangsters everywhere, okay? Um, Gangsters everywhere. It don't matter where you from. You can be from Chicago, um, uh, Flint, wherever, wherever, wherever it was at, right? Wherever you from, 
Columbus, Ohio, to me, is like the new New York. Because it's a big melting pot, man. You got Haitians, Jamaicans, white people, Irish, black people, uh, Somalian people. You got all type of people, all different type of cultures that's mushed in together in Columbus, Ohio. I call that the new New York. Matter of fact, let me give y'all some game right quick. Um, I should end this live and redo it. I should end, end this live and redo it, man. Because um, I don't even feel like talking about how dude lost it. Well, I'll tell y'all how dude lost it. Right. But then I'm going to give y'all some real game, okay? Okay, so this is how this dude lost his eye. So after I get to eating my tray, I peeped out the white guys was over there basically punking and extorting the four gang members or whatever over there. So I went over there. I'm like, okay, forget it. I'm just finna get in on this. So I go over there. I'm like, yo, let me get this top bunk. And one of the dudes like, oh, no, no, you want to fight for that. You want to fight for that. I said, what? Bam! Hit him in the face with the tray. Boom! I'm talking about bow. Dude went this way. One of his other homeboys got up. He tried to follow me. But y'all got to understand, back then, listen, I might don't look like it now because I done got fatter. I'm out of shape and whatever the case may be. But back then, y'all, Dante used to fight and fight all the time. It was nothing. A fight was... A fight was a fight. It, it, it is what it is. Okay, what's up, Malcolm Wright? I see you. Y'all got to understand. Um, a fight ain't nothing. Okay? And what I mean by that, I'm going to tell y'all, when I was, I think my first fight, I was nine years old. I'm going to tell y'all a story right quick. I was nine years old. Uh my best friend, I, when I moved to Flint, we just moved from Atlanta. And um, I moved on this street called, um, what was the name of that street? I forgot. It was in Flint, Michigan. Um, dang, what's the name of that street? I forgot. But anyway, so one of my friends, my first friends that stayed on my street, um, it was a girl that stayed at the corner house, and uh, uh, she used to come down there and play with us. So it was my friend and this girl that stayed out in the street. So we all in the garage, uh, at the top of the garage, and my friend ended up kissing the girl, right? Uh, her brother was a little bit older than us. I'm going to say, y'all, we was probably nine. We was both nine. She was probably nine, too. And her brother was probably about 12, about 12. So he, yeah, he about three years older than us. So the brother ended up busting in the garage and came at the top and seen him kissing. And he got the boom, 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 boom on my friend. So my friend ran and climbed down the ladder and got out of there. But then dude was way quicker than him and he caught up with him and just got the whooping him out. I'm talking, he beat him bad. Now, I never got into a fight in my life. I never had a physical altercation ever. So I wanted to help him, but I did not know what to do, you know? And I just felt crappy. A dude grabbed his sister. He walked off while my friend was getting up, and I just helped him up. And he was like, why you ain't help me, man? Why you ain't help me? I said, I don't know. I don't know. He was like, man, that's messed up. You should have helped me. I said, yeah, I know, I know. Now, keep that in mind, y'all. I never got into a fight before. Next day, um, at, at school, um, everything was just everything. After school, uh, me and my friend is walking down the street, um, going home. And here he come, Dante. And I turned around, and I tried to run. But remember, he way faster than me. He done caught up with me, clipped me, and got the... Punching on me. Boom, boom, boom. And I just boiled up like this. And I remember these words. He was like, he was like, yeah, what's up? What's up? What you want to do? What you want to do? I like, punch me. And I, all I was like, it ain't nothing. It ain't nothing. It ain't nothing. Right? It ain't nothing. That's why I kept saying. And after he done finally punched on me, he done walked off. And I get up and my friend helped me up. I said, why you ain't helping? He said, 
I don't know, man. You you ain't helped me. But but y'all remember we was kids, man. Now, this I'm telling y'all this because of about when I told you I like to fight later on in life. So next next thing you know, I it didn't sit right with me, man. All I was thinking that day, all that night, is that I gotta get mines back. I I, I gotta get mines back. I cannot. It was just oh my, I just I couldn't sleep. I couldn't think. All I was thinking is Dante. Why didn't you just fight back? You might could have won. You might could have won. And all I'm thinking like, I gotta get him. I I gotta get him. Next day at school, right? I see him sitting on the desk. What's up, Gennardo? I see him sitting on the desk, and I just walk up to him. Now he had his um um arms in his shirt. And I just walk up to him. I was like, boom! What's up, Be Humble? I was, hey, y'all, make sure y'all check out Be Humble um, YouTube channel too, man. He got some dope content. He tell military stories on there. It's real dope. I walk up to him. I'm like, bow! Right, punched him right in the jaw. He went this way. Then he came up out of his sleeves, right? It came back in. Boom, boom, boom. I tried to fight back. I tried to fight back, but he was too strong and too fast. But as I would get my butt kicked by this dude, I'm still trying to fight back, but I just couldn't get him. He just out outmanned me. But from that day on, y'all, it was over. It was over. It was over, man. Um, what's up, Gennardo? Um, from that day on, I liked it to fight, win or lose. Um, uh, I love the fight. Um, a fight. I, I just like that build up. You know, you feel um, you, you feel the butterflies in your stomach. But then when you start getting to it, like getting at it, when you are in the rumble, it, it's it's like heaven. I don't know. Um, if if I wasn't too busy chasing girls and in the streets, I think I could have been a boxer. Uh, no, I don't have no training to be a boxer, but Dante can squabble for real, right? Um, especially back in them days, man. So anyway, let's get back to the jail talk. So now I, but I bust dude up in the face with the tray. Boom! One of his homeboys get up and swing on me. Boom! But I come back with, with the head, with the fist of God. Bam! Right? So then another guy of the gang, they rushed me and they had me on the floor. But I grabbed one as when I came, when I got pushed on the floor, I grabbed one of the guys and brought him close to me. So that way, while they trying to stump me out and trying to punch on me, I got a human shield like this. So now I'm just hitting with the um with the um with the spoon, but the the handle part. I'm hitting dude in the side with it, but it ain't it ain't puncturing nothing because it's not sharp at all. It's really dull. But you get you get punched on one of them, it's gonna hurt you bad. And I was getting him a real shot. I was like, so I had him. Okay, so I'm on my back and I got him in the head like this way, and I got this free, but I'm moving like this because they trying to stuff me out. But I'm hitting him in the ribs with it. Boom, boom. I'm getting I'm digging up in there. You get up there. And the side, then you turn it in there, and you lift it up under that rib cage. Yeah, I had him hollering. So then I'm tearing him up and I'm choking him up at the same time, right? Next guy, grab him, let him go. At this time, now I'm trying to get up. Now, some dude that's punching me, that's tagging me in the back of the head. Boom, boom. So I'm going forward. Man. It is what it is. It's go, it's, it, listen, I'm going to tell y'all this. I didn't win, but I did not lose neither. I didn't win, but I did not lose. And everybody in Columbus, Ohio, y'all know how this goes down. Dante wasn't tapping out at all. Um, so we in there getting it on. Um, now I'm up on my feet, and the guy that I had on the ground, he ain't wanted no more. He didn't, he ain't wanted no more. After all them rib shots and them rib pokes, he ain't wanted no more. He he was done. He act like he wanted it. But you know how uh, when cats be trying to jump somebody, but you can tell who really don't want to fight because they kind of lingering in the back but trying to run up, but then they run back some. Like, come on, man. Y'all know what time it is. So 
after all this, now I'm getting tired at this point, right? So now I'm bagging up. Everybody watching. Everybody creeping, too. So then, they like, you done? You done? I had to, hey, listen. I had to put the playing field out there for real. Like, yo, this me. I don't know nobody in Columbus. I ain't from here. And this is how it's going to be, right? So now, I'm bagging up. I'm bagging up with my tray. Now, it's like I got the, 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 my tray is like my shield and my sport spoon thing is my is my sword. So I got my sword and shield and I'm like that bagging back, right? So then after all the chaos and stuff, this big dude, this big black dude named Detroit, he was like, hey, all right, y'all, chill out, chill out, chill out, right? Now, I ain't had no bruises on me, y'all. I'm still, y'all see, I ain't get none of that, right? So... He like, all right, y'all chill out. So he got in the middle between us and all that and told me, like, chill out. So then I go over there, back in the day room, put my tray up there, and I'm sitting down. I'm just still watching the scene, right? Dudes coming over there talking about, yo, yeah, man, hey, man, yeah, you was about George. You know, you know that jail talk. Dudes trying to congratulate you and tell you how you held it down. I'm, I'm, I'm like, yeah, I ain't really trying to hear that. I need to lay down on the bed. That's, that's all I'm thinking about. So I'm thinking, like, okay. I could go back over there and get into some more drama, but nah, I don't feel like fighting with these dudes again because I know they're going to try to jump me again. So I say, you know what? Maybe I need to, I'm going to press up on that other black dude because he know that I'm going to get out. So I went over there. I say, let me get that top rack. And he was like, nah, bro, you can't. I said, all right, look. I grabbed him, right? Like I said, because he was laying down. I grabbed him by his collar and slung him out the bed. Now, for you people out there that's trying to say Dante capping, Dante stretching the truth, okay, all right. It's a guy that's about to get out, okay, that I was locked down with. And he, I'm going to be interviewing him real soon, and he going to tell y'all about Dante prison acapades and county jail stories, okay? Um, matter of fact, I got a couple of guys that's getting, that's now comfortable getting on the camera, boy. That's a whole nother thing. So I grabbed dude out his rack. I get the up out of here. So he's like, bro, man, let me go. Let me go. I said, I'm not praying with you, man. Right? I was like, give me the damn rack. He was like, all right, bro. All right. All right. They say, you know, I feel another bing. Somebody punched me in the back of my dome piece. Boom. I'm like, man, who the f can't be? I turned around, one of the, the the dude that I was giving the rib shots to with the sport, I guess he wanted some more. So he like, yeah, what's up? What's up? What's up? So I just instantly let go of dude and this tack going all up and dude. Boom, boom, right. I said, like, I said, like, boom, 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 right. So then I, I got him. Now he had like hair. Now I know a lot of y'all going to say, oh, Dante did a girl move. Dante did a punk move, right? So he had a lot of hair. I grabbed his hair, like right here, like a female. I grabbed his hair, yes, like a female. Put his head down and was like, uppercut, 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 right? I was tearing dude up, right? That's why I tell, that's why Dante keep his hair cut low. Cause I'll be, I'll be damned. If I'm fighting somebody and they grab my hair, oh, because the way I was handling and dude, I was just grabbing dude. Just I, I had my way with him. That I, if I wanted him to go to the left, he was going to the left. If I wanted him to go to the right, he was going to the right. And I was, I was lifting him up. I had the fist of God connected to him. Boom, push me in the back of my. At this time, as I'm lifting him up, right. When I'm lifting this soul up, I'm tearing him up. Got his hair like this, and I'm boom, 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 right? I see his the, the, his homeboys coming like, man, let him go. Let him go, bro. Let him go. Let him go. So I pushed him back that way. He fell into the crowd with his homies. They're like, man, man, hey, bro, you need to chill. You need to chill. Why? Y'all didn't tell him to chill. When he came over here and popped off him, he butted in my business. He got in my business, right? So I'm, at this point, I'm mad now, y'all. I'm mad. So I said, you know what? 
I didn't know, I didn't start saying this word till I got on YouTube when I say crashed out. But now I can articulate it. At that point, y'all, I'm about to crash out. I said, you know what? Man, fuck this. So I get over there and I grab do stuff off his, throw it on the floor. And I grab him like, nigga, look, man, I'm taking this rack, man. So I just went crazy and I went over there to the other dude with the game members down. I, I'm talking, I'm a big, let me move this. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Y'all done got me started. I need for y'all to hit that like button because it's about to get crazy. So I go over there. Now, I, I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all got to excuse my language. Now I'm about to let my nuts hang. So now, let me, let, me, let me move this back some. So now I'm like, I go there with my chest all out. I'm like, man, I go up on this locker. He had some Reese's Pieces and Honey Buns. I just took all that. He like, hey, man, bro, what you doing? And this, his fellow gang man was like, man, bro, what you doing? Hey, no, you can't do it. I said, man, y'all niggas bag back. Bag up, right? I had that sport food in my hand, like, man, I'm going to put this in somebody's face. I was already pumped up, man. I was trying to, it, it was going to go, that's like, I'm crashing out. Either I'm going to die or somebody going to die up in here, right? I'm, I was in crazy mode, right? So I'm like, man, I'm taking all this, right? So I went over there, took the honey buns, took all that, man. So I got the stuff. I go over there, I put it on the top, right? Another dude coming over that uh, from their gang, like, hey, bro, you can't do it. I'm like, man, watch out, man. So everybody looking like, oh, look at Flight. He was calling me Fly City at that time. Hey, look at Fly City, man. Man, that's the real fool. I said, man, man, y'all watch out. So I just put up, put, put um, the comedy service stuff on the top rack, and I just sat right there like, it okay? Now, I'm going to tell y'all something. Dante is a man of peace. Dante, um, it takes a lot for me to get here, okay? I'm, I'm calm, I'm cool. Y'all know I'm cool. Y'all know I got a good personality. Yeah, that's me. It takes a whole lot to get me going, okay? But when I'm there, I'm there, and that's just what it is, okay? Um, <laughs> when you make... When you when you cross over to my lane and get in my business, it, it, it's on, man. It's on. So, like I said, y'all, I'm just sitting there and I'm just I'm just letting my nuts hang, right? So I just got the commissary up there and I'm just looking around. I'm like, you know what? If I'm gonna go out bad, I'm just gonna go out bad all the way. So I'm like, I'm just looking around and I'm like, you know what? No, I ain't done. I'm finna establish. Dominance right here, right now. So then I go back over there. I'm like, man, I need another blanket, man. Dude was like, hey, bro, man, you tripping. You can't be doing that. I'm like, hey, what you say? He like, bro, I said you can't be. I said, hey, listen, man. I don't, I swear to God, if I, if I, I don't ask, I'm not asking no more. Give me your blanket. He like, bro, you ain't. I said, man, give me this goddamn blanket, man. So I got the blanket and he jumped in like, bro, I said, dog, I'm telling you, if I, if I get physical, I said it just like this, word for word. I said, if I get physical again, somebody going to the graveyard. If I get physical, somebody going to the graveyard. So he was like, man, bro, just chill, man. You ain't got to do all that. I'm like, man, I ain't trying to hear all that, man. Give me this damn blanket. And I walked off, put it on there, and I laid down. So Detroit came over there. Detroit was like, hey, man, young blood, you got to chill, man. You got to chill. I'm like, no, I ain't chilling, man. No, I, these dudes trying to extort me. They trying to take stuff from me. Ain't nobody taking nothing from Big Dante. Yeah, call me Big Dante. So then he like, bro, you got to chill. So then, you know, I'm just laying there. I'm like, no, nah, I'm going to kill somebody here. I'm going to kill somebody up in here, man, right? So now I'm just laying on the bed and everybody looking like, man, this dude crazy. This dude is crazy. So I'm just laying down and this old black dude named Pops. Now, a lot of my stories that I tell y'all happen in this pod, okay? A lot of my crazy... You remember I told y'all about the Somalian guy that um that kept messing with this, uh, this black older dude every time he got on the phone? The Somalian guy go over there and start talking loud, and he wrapped the phone cord around his neck and tried to kill him. Do y'all remember that? <laughs> this what happened in that pod. This is the same pod. P 
People say, Dante, how you got all these stories? <sighs> Every day while locked up is always something. It's always something. It's all somebody doing something. Somebody lying on somebody and getting caught up. Somebody getting caught stealing from somebody. Somebody is stealing from somebody. Somebody getting confronted by somebody. Somebody running their mouth. Some beef that happened on the streets. On my first day, so much drama happened where these dudes tried to, I don't know what they tried to do, but hey, like I said, I don't know what happened to me, y'all. I, I, something activated in me and I just went in bulldog mode, right? So, um, this is why people say, man, you got all these stories. Yes, if you've ever been locked up for real for an extended amount of time, you're going to have plenty of stories, right? So, let's get back to this story. So, I'm laying on the bed, and uh, the black guy pops. He come over there. He like, hey, uh, look, uh, I don't want no trouble, but, you know, you, you really need to calm down. And I'm like... Yeah, man, I, yeah, I said, but no, these, these, these cats, they got me messed up in here, man. I don't know nobody here in Columbus, man. I'm here by myself. And, uh, he like, well, uh, Detroit, he, you know, he from Detroit, you know? I said, man, I ain't, I ain't trying to hear that, man. I'm in here by myself. And if anybody try to do anything to me, it's just, it's, I'm, I'm just going all the way out. Cause remember I told y'all. My rules is this. When I got locked up, I said, I'm not dying in here and I'm not turning gay. That's just what it is. I'm not dying. <coughs> I'm not dying and I'm not becoming no homosexual. I'm not going to be involved in no homosexual activities. I came in here straight, man. I'm going to do my time as a straight man and I'm leaving out here as a straight man. Anything that try to encroach on, why y'all said, man, this, this shirt is white. What y'all talking about? Anything that try to encroach or impede on me living and surviving or try to turn me to a homosexual, I'm, I'm, I'm meeting that aggression with extreme violence, okay? It's going to be immediate violence. If you come over here with that homosexual talk, are you trying to do anything to endanger Dante life? I'm coming and I'm and I'm, I'm I'm telling you, I'm just gonna lay it all out. Everything that's gonna be on the line from from the from the highest piece of hair on the top of my dome piece to the bottom of my toe. If you try to violate me in any way, that blade is coming up and it's gonna be immediate violence. Okay, so y'all stop playing military mind games. We got 55 people in the building, and all the, no, we got 91 people in the building, and 55 likes. That's the military mind games that I keep talking about, man. Y'all hit the damn like button and stop playing games, man. Y'all always doing that. And you know what? For you people out there that don't be sharing my videos, y'all got Facebook, y'all got Instagram, y'all got TikTok. Why don't y'all share my videos, man? I'm going to have to do something to one of y'all. I don't like to threaten people, but I might have to. I might just, I might have to do something. Because y'all people, y'all play too many games. Listen, y'all. I know I give y'all the prison stories. Y'all getting prison stories. Y'all getting the skits. Y'all getting the paranormal channel. Y'all getting everything. This August... Right? This August is on. I'm going to upload three videos a day. I'm slamming a whole month of August, y'all. But when I drop these videos, I need for y'all... Hold on. I need for y'all to participate in the comment section. I need for y'all to write and give me y'all feedback in the comment section when I be dropping these videos. I need for y'all to hit that like button. And if y'all finna a little bit of generous, put something in the cash app. And, and if you say, well, I don't, I don't got cash app, Dante. Well, I know you got PayPal. You, you do got PayPal, right? Come on, y'all. I'm here to make some money, man. The Bible, here you go. There you go. The Bible says if a man don't work, a man don't eat, right? I'm working. Ain't I working? Hold on. Can y'all hear me good? 
Let me, can y'all hear me good? Let me put this mic back over here. Hold up. There it go. Can y'all hear me good? Type yes if y'all can hear me good in the comment section. I don't know if my sound went out. I done moved the mic and everything. Hold on. Okay, it's good. It's good. All right. Yeah, so like I said, man, um, you know, somebody said, somebody said something. They said, man, Dante, um, why you, why it sound like you be uh, pressing people for the cat? You dang right, I'm pressing. This is a full, a full on press right here. This is a hard press. If y'all, oh, well, Dante, I don't got cash app. Well, I know you got PayPal. You got something. I know you got something. Listen, I don't even care if it's a dollar. I don't care if it's a dollar. I need me. Like I said, y'all, right now, everybody, the 80 people that's in the building, this is how this going to go. Now y'all in the cell with me. So for the 80 people, this is how it'll be if you get in the cell with me. Now, I need everybody to take a seat. You sit right there. And I'm about to explain the uh, my cell etiquette and how you will perform in this cell. All right? Now, number one. Your commissary is my commissary. So every Tuesday when we go to store, I need me. I need mine. Okay? When you use the bathroom, you do not stand up. I'm talking to the 74 people that's in the building right now. Y'all in the cell with me. So y'all can talk crap to me in the comment section if y'all like. If y'all disagree with what I'm saying, talk y'all crap to me. Now this is how it's going to be. Again, let's start over. When you get in the cell with me, I'm talking to the 80 people in the building. When you get in the cell with me, your commissary is my commissary. Every Tuesday, I'm going to give you a list. And these are the things that I need, okay? It, it's not I want, it's what I need, okay? If you don't have every item on that list that I, get, that I gave you, we're going to have a problem. We're going to have an issue. Okay, when you pee, you do not stand up. You sit down on that toilet. Do you understand me? If you have to do a number two, you do not use the bathroom in this cell doing the number two. Okay, you better go to one of your homeboys' cell. I'm the only one that get to do a number two in this cell. Okay, now if we on lockdown, then I guess, I guess you can... Use the bathroom, but every time you drop, you better flush. And I mean that. Every time you drop, you better flush, or it will be immediate violence. Okay. <clears throat> Another thing. Um, when you sleep, if you snore, I'm gonna put a sock in your mouth. Okay, because you are not gonna disturb my sleep, my peace. You better put a sock in your mouth. Or I'm going to put my fist in your mouth. Okay? That's just pretty explanatory right there. <laughs> okay? So that's really it. Everything that you get, I need me, I need half. And that's it. Now, um, you know, I'm just joking with y'all. Y'all know that. Y'all know that. You know, I'm starting to really enjoy these lives. It's um, it's kind of fun, you know, interacting with y'all. But, uh, yeah, y'all, uh, this month in August, I'm dropping about three videos a day. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. Um, I told y'all every Monday... At 8 o'clock, I go live, okay? Every Monday at 8 p.m. Look, just put it on your calendars. Every every Monday at 8 p.m., Dante will be live, okay? Um, so y'all ain't got to guess it. Y'all ain't got to try to figure it out. Just put it on your calendars. Every Monday at 8 p.m., Dante will be live. Um, every once in a while, I might drop in and do a live if something... 
is really bothering me or, or I want to get something out or something. I might drop a live um, throughout the week or whatever, but that's not guaranteed. But guaranteed is this. Every Monday at 8 p.m., I'm live. Um, I got my supernatural stories that's coming out real soon. Um, I got the hood stories, the prison stories, the reaction videos, all of that, okay? Um, I'm going to be dropping three videos a day. It's time to turn out. I'm trying to take over YouTube, y'all. I need to share. I need for y'all to do me a favor and share these videos, okay? I need for y'all to share these videos. We need to get to 100,000 subscribers by the end of this year. I know we can do it. I want to give a special shout out to everybody. And when I say everybody, I mean everybody that be participating by writing in the comments when y'all see the videos. I like uh, when y'all hit the like button, when y'all share my videos. I appreciate all of y'all. Um, yes, WW, we will, I will be doing the Bible studies also. I'm still working on that section too. So um, just know that um, it's a lot of content. I'm being versatile with it now. Um, it's just, it will not be <clears throat> just prison stories at all. It's you getting all type of videos again. Um, any type of content that is dropped on the Dante Show Network is 100% owned by me. Okay? Everything that is put on my channel, I am 100% behind. Okay? Um, when I start doing these documentaries and... Because um, I, I got a broad audience. And uh, I got to cater to everybody. So I know originally people came for the prison stories. But then there's a lot of people that love the skits that I do. It's a lot of people that, that love the hood stories that I do. And I got a, a big enough group of people that like the reaction videos also. Uh, so, yeah, um, this August, August 1st, y'all, we are working, okay? August 1st, we are working. Um, all I ask y'all to do is just share the videos. Share the video. When y'all watch a video, drop a comment in the comment section. It don't cost you nothing to do that. Now do it. And be sure to hit the like button. That's all I ask. That's all I ask. Right? Oh, what's y'all? The cash app is the Dante. Matter of fact, let me put it up here. I don't think they're going to let me do it. The cash app is the Dante Show. With, that's with three W's. It should be in the description. Yeah, it, sh it should be in the it should be in the description on any of the videos. But yeah, man. Uh, this August, I'm telling y'all, um, I'm flooding YouTube. But I need for y'all to do y'all job too. Yep, I I'm. I need for y'all to do y'all job too. Y'all got to share the videos, um, hit the like button, and write in the comment sections. Yeah. Uh, Mickey Scorpio. Uh, yes, yeah, dollar sign D O N T A A S H O W W W. The blue icon. But, uh, yeah, y'all, uh, it's finna get real crazy over here on the Dante Show Network, man. Uh, y'all just stick around. Just stick around, man, because I got a lot of content that I'm working on right now with the shorts, um, the reels, the documentaries, the paranormal stuff that I'm um, working under. Um, it's a lot that I'm on. I'm, it's a lot. It's, it's a lot. Um, y'all just y'all got any questions before we roll out oh oh and also y'all I do promote uh, I do promote you got a YouTube channel that you want to uh, be promoted on your social media let me know 
um, be humble. Um, be humble is a person that um, that paid for promotion, and I haven't got it all the way through yet. But be humble. I still got a lot of promotion um, that I'm I'm gonna be doing for you real soon. Um, I'm just trying to figure things out how I'ma um, include the promotion in the upcoming video. So if y'all want me to promote your YouTube channel or your social medias out there, um, just get in contact with me. My email is in the description. Um, go to any of my videos and y'all see my email in there. <clears throat> with that, y'all, I'm about to jump in the shower and uh, work on some more content. And um, y'all just be on the lookout because in August, it's going down, y'all. I'm going to be dropping about three, four videos a day. And with that, um, y'all be safe. Y'all be cool. Remember Jesus uh, died for your sins. And y'all ask him to forgive y'all for y'all sins before y'all go to bed. And with that, I'm out.